All right, what's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do a Heart's Desire reading for the sign of Leo. Okay, Leo, you guys are last but not least on the Zodiac lineup this week. Hopefully, you guys are getting some enlightenment during this week with your energy. Okay, remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So, take what resonates and pass the rest to the next okay so with that being said you guys know how the heart's desire goes we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it all right as your girl is spent i'm ready to go and watch some playoffs um so that way i can chill and relax and hopefully get some sleep tonight all right so let's get started we're gonna look at your present past and future energy so top card is for your present energy bottom card is for your past energy and one energetically from the middle is your future energy and then we will look at the bottom of the deck momentarily to see what your overall outcome is okay so let's see what you have here Leo's Wow. Okay. You have the Eight of Swords, which showed up in Cancer's reading. But at the end, you have the Lovers, which showed up in Pisces reading in the first position. And then we have the Ace of Swords in your future energy. Okay. So let's get cracking. <laughs> okay. So Eight of Swords energy starting off presently okay leos you feel stuck about something okay um just the same as cancer like i said this was here in the future placement okay for cancer um and just basically looking at this spread as a whole it's possibly in reference to a relationship okay of some sort okay um Presently, you are in this stuck position of not knowing what to do um, in reference to either your relationship or some other situation around you, uh, relationship, whether it be platonic or romantic, okay? Um, these swords around you, in my opinion, denote some type of truth, okay, that you have to come into terms with as the Ace of Swords is here towards the end of your reading in the future placement, okay? So it's time to pull off that veil, okay? Pull off that blindfold and it's time to, I'm hearing like face the facts, okay, Leo? Um, but we won't know for sure until we get into the clarifiers, okay? With this past energy of the lovers here, okay? Um, it's something in reference possibly to your past, okay? Of course, this is your past placement, but it could be a past relationship, okay? Um, maybe a past relationship that you're reevaluating or a past relationship that you feel maybe didn't go the way that you planned or maybe it's something that you want to revisit in a sense, okay? Um possibly like in your intimacy reading, um, some type of karmic energy um, is kind of around you that may be having you stuck in your present energy, okay? Um, maybe going back to that too much as far as reevaluating it, okay? Lastly, we have in the future placement, we have this Ace of Swords, okay? There's some definitive truth that needs to be said, okay? It's forthcoming, okay? That's the reason why it's in your future placement, okay? Um, it's time to just be straight up with yourself and maybe someone else as well, okay? With this Ace of Swords here in the future placement. Let's turn over the deck to see what the final outcome is and it is the four of cups 
the four of cups okay you have three cups sitting in front of her and then one cup directly above her head okay four of cups is usually talking about someone making an offer towards you and you denying it okay and it's coming into terms of just really reviewing what that offer is and if it's even worth it okay so I feel like that's something that you are going to be going through this week is really determining whether or not something is worth it. Maybe is it worth it going back to this past or is it more so worth going towards something that you know is better for you and, you know, treating it as such, okay? Or is it you turning down something that is good for you for something from your past okay something that was toxic and not good for you okay um i'm also getting this vibe of maybe you were the cause of something not working in the past okay um again possibly some self-reflection going on okay again this ace of swords is here for a reason there's some truth that has to be told and it's it's major it is major okay like i said detrimental in a sense this truth that's supposed to come out okay let's get into these clarifiers here okay we're going to do the same as we did the mystic mondays top card is for the eight of swords the bottom card is for the lovers past energy and then the i'm going to pull one energetically from the middle here i'm going to go here with it for the ace of swords future energy and then we'll turn the deck over to clarify this four of cups okay momentarily so let's see what we have so we have the Knight of Emotions, which is the Knight of Cups. We have the Strength card. And we have the Four of Inspiration, okay? Four of Inspiration, which is the Four of Wands, okay? So present energy with this Knight of Emotions and this Eight of Swords, okay? Someone is offering something to you, Leo, okay? This Knight of Cups energy is, again, I feel someone who has emotions for you, but you are stuck trying to figure out presently whether or not if you want to accept that offer or not, okay? I'm feeling a little bit torn and maybe so are you um in reference of whether or not this is like a karmic energy or player energy okay um i feel like it is for you based on where we've been in your readings this week especially your intimacy reading um usually the player energy is the knight of wands um, however, I'm getting this feeling of this Knight of Cups energy, someone who had, um, Knight of Wands energy, very passionate, very sexual energy, but also has a way of playing on your emotions, okay, that tends to blind you to their true nature, okay, that is what I'm feeling. I, I, I'm getting this very strong feeling of they use their words to get that wands and deep down they have that wands energy about them that's very uh, manipulative in a sense with the cups energy plays on your emotions uh, blinds you to the truth like I said of their true nature with their words and how they make you feel um, and then it leads to you in their bed okay if you will okay so be mindful of this energy this is present energy okay um and that may not be for all of you for some of you this could be someone 
that you actually do care about. Um, but again, it's a knight. It's not a king. It's not like the king of cups being very prominent, very mature, um, very forthcoming with their their emotions. This is someone who's very, I mean, thankfully it's not a page, but it's a knight. So someone is being maybe a little bit more open with their feelings, but not too open. And so you're not really sure whether or not to take them seriously or not. And so, like I said, I feel like you are stuck trying to figure out what you should do or how you should feel, or if you can believe this person's uh, words when they come to you. Okay. So let's move forward as we're at 1051 in your reading. Okay. So Leo, we have you showing up here in your past energy with the lover's card and strength. Okay. In the past, you've had to have a lot of strength um, in relationships, possibly, okay? You've had many uh, lovers in your day, Leo. And so with a lot of them, you were possibly very dominant or very strong um, against them. Maybe a very alpha, I'm not going to say masculine energy, I'm going to say alpha uh, energy, as there can be alpha males and there can be alpha females, okay? You can look that up. I'm not going to get into that. But you had a very strong alpha energy where your way or no way at all type of vibe, okay? And um, you pretty much laid down a lot of ultimatums in your past relationships, okay? And that could be something that um, kind of can affect a future relationship, okay? Um, with, and I know I'm getting ahead here with this Four of Cups, but I have to go back to it. With really looking at an offer that's being, being presented to you, you do have to reflect with this sword energy being here. Um, you have to reflect on who you were in the past with re certain relationships, primarily with this offer that is coming to you, okay? There is possibly, like I said, two things coming or around you, either karmic energy or a newfound energy, okay? But you did have to have some strength with relationships in the past as that may have been very detrimental to them not working is because of your forceful ultim ultimatums um, to people and not realizing that it's not just you in the relationship, it's someone else in the relationship too. And if they're not ready to be that person that you want them to be, you can't force them to, okay? They have to want it on their time. It has to be on their time, not yours, okay? So with that being said, let's keep moving, Leo, with this future energy of the Ace of Swords with the Four of Wands, okay, which is usually 1111 card of the tarot, talking about enlightenment, okay? You are going to be enlightened with something as, like I said, truth needs to come out, okay? So truth coming out, meaning what do you really want? Leo, as I stated in your previous readings this week, okay, do you really want a relationship? Do you really want a union with someone? Okay, do you really want that? Okay, be truthful with yourself. And if you do, and there's this karmic energy coming around you presently, okay, that plays on your heartstrings a lot when you know it's false, okay, false energy, false love, then it should be no, it shouldn't be hard for you to reject this energy with this four of cups, okay, because you want a true relationship, you want to build a foundation with someone, and maybe there is something that you are ending from your past, so that way you can have this future here with this um, Four of Wands being here, okay? 
So with that being said, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck for you guys on the Muse Tarot. And we have the Five of Materials, which, thank you. <laughs> five of Materials, which means the Five of Pentacles, clarifying this Four of Cups. Meaning someone is getting left out in the cold and it's probably that karmic ass energy that's been bothering you, okay? As I normally don't look up underneath the card um, on the Mystic Mondays deck, I do see the Nine of Wands right up underneath there, okay? So somebody getting blocked, okay? And that's what I like to see, Leo, okay? So it means that you are pushing someone or knocking someone to the curb, okay, with this Five of Pentacles and saying enough is enough, okay, because this is what I truly do want. And if I want that, then I have to move as such, okay? So if you want to be wifey or husband, you have to move in the sense that you want to be wifey or husband. That means you have to cut out the things that are not serving you. And that means dealing with past lovers, okay, that are just around to just play around in the bed with you and then leave, okay? They're not trying to give you anything, okay? And so your primary focus should be on the person that truly does love you and has been trying to be there for you, okay? And so it's time to be truthful with this person and what it is that you truly want and hopefully work towards it so that way you both can be happy, okay? We are at 1652 in your reading. We're going to go into the Hearts Oracle here. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle for you guys three times. And then we'll refer to the bottom of the deck for your final message. And then we'll move to the Power of Surrender. bottom of the deck, Leo, is number 21, embrace. Number three, equal and out to three, mind, body, and spirit, centering yourselves, okay, and embracing anew, okay? That's what I see when I look at this card, okay? You see the world in front of them, the sun behind them, arms wide open, okay? you are embracing the possibility of a new, okay? And all I can say is I hope that, you know, it's not too late for you. I don't think it's ever too late for someone to change as long as they are willing to change, okay? And so with that being said, you know, there's enlightenment. There's like a lotus flower um, behind him. There's also right at his heart space, there's like this yellow light here, okay? So I'm, I'm loving this card right now, okay? Because it, it speaks volumes to some improvement in your energy this week, Leo, or whenever you tend to come across this video, okay? And I'm seeing there's also like a heart within the earth and roots, okay? Um, taking that, just growing, some inner, it's like inner growth, okay? Is what I'm feeling also as I look into that card, okay? It's an inner growth. Um, possibly the things that you've went through, Leo, and everyone has, okay, where we've had some traumatic relationship issues, okay, traumatic experiences, and we've shut ourselves off to love because of the fact of what someone else did to us, how they hurt you, how they manipulated you, 
um, used you, whatever it abused you, whatever you went through, you shut yourself off to love and you treated others that were good for you so based off of badly, based off of what you experienced and real thinking that everyone is bad. So I'm going to give them the bad version of me. And, and that's unfair to another person who's truly trying to love you. Okay. In order for you to receive love, you have to love yourself and give love to those the way you want to be loved. If you want to receive it in not a mirroring way of how you give love, but in a sense of being receptive of the love that they are willing to give you. Okay. It is not their fault. Okay. It is, you have to take accountability for allowing yourself to be persuaded and manipulated by someone when you knew you should have left them alone. Okay. And it was all because of the fact that possibly you didn't want to be alone. And I stated this in another reading. I can't remember if it was yours or if it was in Pisces reading, but nonetheless, you can't do that to other people. I know that's easier said than done, but trust, I have also been hurt too uh, many times and I still love as the same as I loved my last person, but I just move differently with that love. If I, you know, I'm a gift giver. If I, and I enjoy giving people gifts. However, I now move in a sense of I will wait until that person proves to me that they are worth me giving them a gift. If they prove to me that they're worth, worth me giving them a gift, then I'm not going to do it as quickly as I did my last relationship. If you give someone a gift within the first three months of you knowing them, that's a little bit too hastily to do, you know, and I learned from it. And then with the next person, I waited about a good two, three years before I said, okay, now I think you're worth giving gifts to, you know what I mean? So it, it's, think of, think of it like that. Okay. You progress and grow from each relationship. Okay. Don't shut yourself off completely because there are people out here who are worth loving, but you have to use your discernment and move slowly in order to determine if they are worth it. Okay. So let's get in to this book here. To see where embraces page 71 equaling out to eight talking about balance okay time for us to balance ourselves out Leo okay and let's let's read this card 21 embrace your keywords are achieve welcome appreciate dreams, wholeness, and contentment. When it comes to love, the universe is smiling upon you at this time. Energies are moving and shifting, coming together to give you exactly what you need and want. Your efforts to clarify your heart's desires, to be present in current relationships, and to actively manifest new relationships are now bearing fruit. In this moment, you are in a position to achieve all that you have dreamed of regarding matters of the heart. Your dreams are ready to manifest. Allow all the pieces to gently fall into place. Don't resist, just embrace. Your own personal energies are combining to bring you to a new level of being whole and perfect. This will allow your relationships to fall into place beautifully as well. To support this process of integration, work with the concept of having an open and grateful heart. Express appreciation for the many blessings in your life. As you go through your day, be aware of the grace that surrounds you. Grace shows itself in ways both large and small. The larger manifestations of grace may be your family, your health, and your home. However, there are many smaller manifestations of grace that can also be acknowledged. 
Appreciate the warm sun on your face, the cool breeze blowing through your hair, the lovely flower growing from a crack in a stone wall. By being grateful, you surround yourself with contentment and through the law of attraction, you will welcome more of the same, including more fulfilling relationships. Your affirmation here is, I acknowledge my many blessings and I and am open to receiving my heart's desires. I acknowledge my many blessings and I'm open to receiving my heart's desires. Your traditional Archie uh, tarot type is the world, okay? The world card here, okay? And it's talking about, like I said, some form of completion here with the world, a cycle ending, okay? And it's possibly that cycle that was talked about in your intimacy reading, okay? Um, that karmic third party energy leaving from you, okay? So that way you can welcome a new, all right? So like I said, let's go into the power of surrender so we can wrap up your reading here, Leo. Very nice energy, okay? I am, this is a huge, huge improvement from your intimacy reading and your general reading as well, okay? So as long as you stay in this energy, I think you will be fine uh, going throughout the week. It is going to get even deeper as we get into uh, a word from the ancestors and the tap into the soul, okay? So keep focusing on this energy, all right, of what it is that you want and improving yourself from your heart center on forward, okay? So let's see what your power of surrender message is. It is surrender to defensiveness. Excuse me, surrender to defensiveness, Leos, okay? Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response, okay? Surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response, okay? So if you have some communication with someone, okay, whether it be a past karmic energy or a current energy of someone, like I said, that is truly in love with you or has been offering love to you, but you have been very defensive about it, or like I said, giving ultimatums in your past, okay, hear them out as to why your relationship has not improved or moved into the next phase. Okay, and give them a clear, truthful, truthful reasoning as to why. Okay, meaning you have evaluated yourself. There are things in your past that you have not talked to your person about for them to understand why you are the way that you are in the relationship or why you neglect them in the relationship things of that nature, okay? If this is in reference to a current person that you are dealing with. If it is karmic energy and the person wants to know why you two never worked out or why you can't get back together, you need to give them a non-defensive answer, okay? Be truthful, be honest, be compassionate, but also be stern in your words, but not in a defensive way, okay? With that being said, Leos, I hope this helps you today with the heart's desire. We have two more readings for you guys. Until then, peace.